What's the most effective way to waste your life? Well, here's a quick guide you might already be following, but hey, don't stop now. There's always room to do better, or I guess I should say worse. Step 1. Always procrastinate. Keep hitting snooze every morning. It's important that you keep doing what feels good right now over what benefits you later in life. To ensure that you stay in bed for as long as possible, make sure that the first thing you do is start checking your phone. And when you realize you don't have any notification, jump straight into TikTok or any social media to get that instant gratification because you deserve to feel good for doing absolutely nothing. Perfecting procrastination is key, and there's no better way to do it than delaying the start of your day as much as possible. Step 2. Never focus on one thing. After frying your brain on doom scrolling for an hour or two, it's finally time to start dragging yourself out of bed. Now open the laptop to work or study, then immediately start getting distracted by a random YouTube video, Reddit, or endless tabs of anything unrelated to your work. Make sure to keep your phone within easy reach, so every notification you get distracts you from the work you should be doing. The key here is constant distraction. It's important that you start a new task or goal before ending one. Never complete anything. This ensures you end your day exactly where you started, having accomplished nothing substantial. Step 3. Comparison is crucial. Great. After successfully achieving nothing, it's time to take a well-deserved break. By checking out everyone else's perfect life on Instagram, go through your feed to see your friends and influencers living their best lives, traveling, acing their exams and landing their dream job. This step is vital for reminding yourself that everyone else's life is so much better and yours is just, well, not. Lastly, convince yourself that you're so far behind everyone else that it's pointless doing anything about it now. This ensures that you stay miserable and exactly the same. Step 4. Cultivate a fixed mindset. Now that you have realized everything is pointless, it's time to convince yourself that skills and talents are gifts you're either born with or not, and everything is based on luck. If you for some reason decide to try something new and it surprisingly doesn't go well right away, give up instantly and tell yourself, I guess this isn't for me, or just blame the circumstances. If you watch someone do well in life, just remember, they're just naturally gifted. This way of thinking keeps you in the safe zone from getting a growth mindset, and you don't want that, because there's no point in trying to improve anyways, right? Step 5. Stay comfortable. Now that you have realized that trying new things is a no-go, it's time to sink even deeper into your comfort zone, because why leave it? I mean, if there were even a chance to learn something new or improve in any way, why even bother? So it's important that you stick to your usual routine, don't change anything, because you might risk changing your life around and we can't have that. Trying new things might also lead to failure and you don't want that at all, even if it means missing out on dreams and potential. So remember, don't risk being uncomfortable, stay safely within your bubble. Step 6. Be overconfident and never adapt. Now that you're comfortably numb in your bubble, it's time to crack up that arrogance of yours. Be certain to think you're better at things than you really are. This will guarantee you to start a lot of things but never finish them. And that's perfect, because you think you got it all figured out from the start. This is the Dunning-Kruger effect in action. You believe you're an expert, even when really you're not. And if unfortunately you have a friend that offers you advice or feedback, ignore it completely, especially if it's constructive. Listen, it's easier to just ignore helpful tips than to admit your incompetence and the fact that you might need to improve. Step 7. Isolate yourself. The final step is to completely isolate yourself. Remember, we're social animals, so you want to make sure that you don't get any meaningful connections. And if you have to leave your cave to go out in public, don't forget your headphones. This ensures that you don't give off the impression that you're someone who is approachable and easy to talk to. So hopefully everyone can just leave you the fuck alone. And to guarantee that happens, always have your phone as backup. That way you look busy so you avoid any awkward and unnecessary encounters. Remember, you want to stay in your comfortable, isolated bubble. Do this for years until you're completely miserable. And great job, change is no longer an option. You have followed these steps perfectly to ensure that 
Now, if you for some weird reason don't want to waste your life and be miserable, well, good thing I have made another video that shows you how to do the exact opposite. Just click the video on the screen, I will take you right to it. 